Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Anime Talk with Nate. Well, I got an interesting new anime that I've been watching for a good while. I just finished up the uh, series and it's uh, starting on a new series completely. And uh, they were also discussing too about uh, ending the entire manga series of it too but I don't know much more than what I've read on anime news. But uh, today's anime we're going to talk about is a lot of people's favorite fairy tale. Now, if you like magic, guilds, uh, fighting, magical weapons, dragons, wizards, sorcerers, witches, then this is your anime, and especially comedy. If you like, if you like a lot of romance, that's also it's in here, and a lot of sad parts, and it, it is a tear jerker or tear dropper, and it has its moments, and I would highly suggest this anime. On the front of this cover that you just saw, the two of the characters that you see, there's a little blue cat. His name's Happy. And this character is named Natsu Dragneel. The two may, the two characters that you saw here on front of the cover, Natsu Dragneel is a dragon slayer. He uses dragon slayer magic, which his is fire. He was raised by Igneel, the fire dragon slayer, or uh, the fire dragon where Natsu became the Fire Dragon Slayer. So eventually in time, he would have the ability and strength to slay a dragon. But unfortunately right now, the only dragon in existence right now is Acnologia. But I don't want to reveal too much of the series, or I would spoil it for you. Now, the little cat, his name's Happy. He was raised by Natsu from a little egg and uh, originally Natsu actually thought it was a dragon egg. <laughs> well I would definitely give this series a, a 10 out of 10 and uh, once you have uh, finished all the way through the series all the way from volumes 1 all the way down to volume um, 22 volume 22 but instead of calling them volumes, they're call they have their their parts. Unlike the uh, show One Piece, where they have volumes, where this one's just parts. Now, once you get done with the complete series, make sure you check out the series Fairy Tale Zero, which will explain on how the Fairy Tale Guild all got started and. After you reach episode 11 and 12, it will explain some more of why Fairy Tale was disbanded at the end of the series. And there's also more talk about making a new series for, for Fairy Tale and continue, continuing on where they left off from that point at the end of Fairy Tale Zero. Now, I don't want to. Now, I want to highly recommend this anime to all viewers out there that may be looking for a magical, romantic comedy anime. I'll see y'all next time. And this was Anime Talk with Nate. Have a good night.